What's up guys, Free Gaming here with a review of Inform Lukaku, the striker on West Brom from the Barclays Premier League. This is the first non-goalkeeper review I have done. This is actually the first non-goalkeeper review I have done and it's for the right guy. This guy is comes in at 6 foot 3, 207 pounds, which is pretty amazing for a striker, and he has 99 shot power. That is unbelievable. He can finish from all over the field. He has great finishing, unbelievable long shots too, which makes sense for his shot power, and his physical attributes really good to you. He has 94 strength, which is similar to Inform Lock and Femme, who we all know is the the strongest guy in FIFA 13. His free kick accuracy isn't that good, but shot power, he can make a lot of free kicks for you. And this is a perfect example of that strength. Coming in, he moves the guy out of his way and finishes with that shot power with the left foot. His left foot's pretty good, but his weak foot, it's four star weak foot, which is pretty good. He didn't have, he doesn't have the shot power with the right foot that he does of the left foot. He can still finish with, you can see right there, a slow shot, but he still uh, gets it to go. His dribbling is okay. It's not uh, great for a 110K striker. But I feel like his dribbling is a little bit better than the 72 dribbling uh, the game gave to Inform Lukaku. But Inform Lukaku is actually going to Chelsea next in real life, which is why I use these kits. And look at this banana from outside the box. This guy is unbelievable with his finishing. Uh, good acceleration, too, with his pace. And um, I actually used him in a 3-5-2 Barclay squad, but I feel like he would be better to use as the lone striker, say, in a 4-3-2-1 uh, Barclay squad. He can make a lot of shots for you on the pitch. You're not always gonna get a straight good finish like this guy who has the pace of this guy and the shot power of this guy and everything. He has the finishing, let's say, of a poor man's Van Persie, but he's faster than Van Persie, which is key. So I feel like uh, the 83 pace and 83 shot are a little bit low for him uh, related to it, how he plays in the game. And also, he's really good passing him if you do uh, chip through balls. He can get to the ball really, really quick and his strength, he can outpower a lot of defenders, which is what you really need in people. Look at this. He overpowers the defender, which results in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with the goalie, which is pretty crucial. Um, also, he has a really reliable finesse shot, which makes sense for his left foot. It's finishing. Uh, you want to shoot with his left foot. As I said, his uh, weak foot is pretty good as well. He is good heading, but again, he doesn't use it a lot. When he did use it, it went in. Uh, hit posted a lot with this guy, and it was because he had uh, some crazy shot power. And there are some negatives about him. He only has three stars kills, um, so for this money, I would not be skilling with this guy. Take that in consideration uh, while getting this guy because he's not a huge skiller. He can do some roulettes, but don't expect him to make a lot of skills for you. But I, I really think he's worth the money because of how good his shot is and how pacey he is too. Even though he doesn't come in at a lot of pace and he just overpowers defenders. Great physical player to have on your Barclays squad. He also has great stamina as well, which is kind of unexpected for a guy of his size and how fast he moves. So great stamina, really crucial. Uh, for you, but there are some negatives, as I said. Uh, he is okay dribbling. It's not fantastic, but I, I, I think it's better than 72 dribbling. He plays better. Basically, this card plays better than all the stats, so don't look at all the stats for information because this guy plays better than his stats. Kind of like a David Luiz sort of figure. It's pretty poor curve and pretty poor free kick accuracy. Um, coming on those in the 60s, but uh, shot power, you can make free kicks with him because of his shot power. Um, but make sure with the power bar not to overuse it because even if you pull it, the power bar to like halfway, this guy can nail it over the net because it's so crazy in his shot power with his left foot. His right foot doesn't have as much shot power, which is kind of expected even though he does have a uh, four star weak foot. And look at this, he's so strong, he just deflects Dava Louise off of him. Even though my controller ran out of battery, Dava Louise just flops. He deserves to flop because no one likes Dava Louise. Just hoping he moves out of the bar place next year so we can have some. Our play squads that are not abusive, but this guy pretty much is, abuses every team I played him with. He is a lot of money, and I do expect him to go down at least a little bit, because an important trend I've been ner noticing lately, since all the teamless seasons are done, a lot of the regular players are going up, and the Barclays, not not even the informs, the regular players, and the informs of teamless seasons are starting to go down. So uh, take that in consideration. We'll get in this guy. I, as I said, negative three-star skills, okay dribbling, poor curve, and all those things, but those are just little picky things, so... Uh, remember to take that into consideration, but at the same time, he's an unbelievable striker who will definitely help your Barclays squad. So for a rating, I think it's fair to give him a 9.3 out of 10 because of those negatives. He's not a perfect striker, but he is really, really good as informed. Definitely worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.